Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for Fire Force Chapter 184. Uh, when we last left our heroes, we got a little bit of whatever the fuck is going on with Kareem and Foyen. Really do not know what's going through their minds right now. Why they're just sitting back and letting Burns try to kill Obi, if they know he's trying to kill Obi. Uh, the Burns fight, on that note, is continuing. Nothing much has changed there. Meanwhile, um, the rest, the rest of the company, um... Besides Arthur, got left somewhere in the nether. Uh, the rest of the company are all fighting uh, Gold and her butchers, uh, being primarily led by Tamaki, along with Maki and Hinawa, as uh, Licht is starting to piece together what exactly Gold's deal is. Uh, so let's jump right on into Chapter 184, Gold's Secrets. And our picture here is of Inca. Money, 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 the scene of a fire depends on money. And Mani sounds like money when pronounced out loud. I don't know what Mani is supposed to mean there, but whatevs. I don't know. Um, anyway, so we open where we left off with Gold fighting uh, Company 8. It won't be your toll fee, but I'll have you let me borrow a bit more. There's a good one there. I don't know anything about what that's about. Uh, what, I don't know what she's talking about. Uh, or I guess the good one there is taking the shield Maki had? Using bullets only is insufficient. Uh, and she, like, takes the shield, I think it's going away from Maki, or maybe towards her, but I feel like it's away. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's lifting up away from Maki. The shield is, and it zooms away, uh, and then actually hits Maki? Or, no, it's blocked by the Iron Owls, um, which I guess are being translated as Tekyo now. Uh, but the Iron Owls block the, the shield from hitting Maki, I think. Uh, and Maki gets ready in, like, an uh, offensive stance. And we cut back to Victor. What about... What are the opponent's powers? She's been, she's manipulating the metal. Magnetism? What's characteristic about her is the golden gauntlet. Uh, and Lisa and Iris are, like, watching Victor just mutter at all this. Is he okay? Muttering like that? If it's Lixan, I'll come up with a good idea. In the past, you were saved by Lixan's ideas during the firestorm and even the underground fire. Lixon is someone who must belong in Company 8. Golden Gauntlet, magnetism, with the abilities of flames. There's no magnetism in the gold itself. And an ability user, without any exception, has an ability connected to fire and heat. Gold and heat! Vulcan Kun, please stop any attack using the tech yo. That's not good, because uh, that's exactly what Maki is using. Because uh, Maki sends the tech yo right out at the shields, or right out at gold. And it stops like a centimeter away from Gold's face. She even stopped our tech, yo? Lick, what's the meaning of this? It's the gold. She's creating magnetism using gold and heat. First of all, it's a property of materials. Gold will not stick to any magnet without beforehand receiving the effects of magnetic force. And we have this image of, uh, of, a mag of a magnet trying to use gold, and gold just says, I don't care. <laughs> Uh, and Victor, or Vulcan questions that. Then it's not like she's using magnetism. Wrong. The problem here is the heat. If heat flows into gold, it has the property of possessing magnetism. Gold's powers. Those were born among the third generation abilities. Pouring heat energy inside metallic gauntlets and converting it into magnetic power. Power they control to manipulate metals. Bullets are techyo or made of iron. They fall under the effects of magnetism. Um, and just then, the, the, um, the Tekyo and the shield are now hovering behind gold. My assassinations use local procurement of weapons. It doesn't require money, either, to Ching. Uh, Maki just stares at her in shock. No way! The Tekyo is! And all three of them go, go flying towards Maki and Hinoa. Uh, and I think it hit- one of the Tekyo definitely hits Hinoa, like, in the chest. Uh, I can't tell. I think Maki gets out of the way, though. Uh, and Hinoa fires his gun at gold. It's no use, Lieutenant. Firing will only increase the opponent's number of attacks. Uh, and just then, something, some kind of rod, whacks Hinoa up the chin. Even the barrel I threw away. Uh, yeah, the barrel then comes, like, jumping back down to strike Hinoa. Uh, but Tamaki gets through and, like, flame tails it. Uh, and stands to guard uh, the two of them from gold, uh, but then starts dodging all the techyos. You're quite nimble. Keep confusing her like that. Time to use Vulcan's handmade boosters. 
Uh, she has the little things we saw at the end of last chapter. What's that, Vulcan? It's a fire amplification device that created from mixed powder of iron oxide and aluminum. If you light a fire on them, something called a thermite reaction will occur, and it'll become a super hot firepower. Uh, and we see there's like this T that forms um, in the orb. Uh, and she like makes it this huge orb of fire to deflect uh, or to absorb, I think, all of the flames that gold is sending at her. Or something's going on there. I'm not sure. Eat my Nekomata extra large fireball. Uh, and Vulcan yells out, all right, go. And the other two butchers, oh, that's some firepower. Uh, and she jumps at um, at gold and like sends her fireball at her. Uh, and she, like, jumps back as the dust clears, and Gold is still standing, pretty much, uh, unscathed. No way. An average assassin couldn't have endured this, but we butchers specialize in ability users' assassination. Consequently, a resistance to fire is high. Uh, and meanwhile, uh, the Tekyo are both coming for Tamaki. Same for me! I won't be hit by your attacks! Um, oh boy. All right, all right, Okubo, we were getting good at this. Um, now, Gold is coming for her belt buckle. Because of course. Oh, that's actually, all right, that was just a distraction. Uh, Cause she gets like uppercut by the Tekyo. Her pants are still on, by the way, thank God. Uh, and then she's like now, like trying to block attacks from both Tekyo coming at her. Tamaki-chan! Uh, the two Tekyo are, like, zooming towards her. Now her pants come off. There we go. There's the Okubo we all remember. We were doing so good with Tamaki. <sighs> Either way, she still jumps out of the way. That was close. I got saved by my lucky lecher lore. I guess, I guess her pants falling down gave her the, the, made her less metallic. So I, I guess that makes sense. Uh, cause, cause now the belt can't, uh, can't keep her in place. You got stronger in Asakusa, Maki says. Your lucky lecture lore is still the same, though. The parts of her special fire force uniform are all made of Hajima's heat-resistant reinforced plastic. The only metallic part is the belt. So, all right. <laughs> then they all take their pants off. <laughs> they all just strip. <laughs> I, I guess we got equal opportunity fan service this week. I can't fault Yokobo after that. <laughs> Whatever works. Whatever fucking works. Uh, and Gold just kind of laughs. Ha ha ha. You're pitiful. For us who strip every year for the nude calendar. This is nothing. I'm glad we're bringing back the nude calendar. That means the anime can't get away with not showing the nude calendar. Yes. Doing that earns you money. Since you live in the nether, you don't seem to know anything. It's selling like mad. She stopped pulling away our bodies. With Tamaki alone as the offense, we're lacking a trump card. We have to do something about this magnetic force, or else our weapons will be useless. It's bothering you? And someone walks up to him, to him and it's Lisa. Who, is she actually going to join the fight for the first time on the side of the fire force? What are you all doing dressed up like teddy bears? It's not something to laugh about. Undo your belt too, Lisa. Did you forget my ability? And she gets her flame tentacles. Fishing fire. Uh, Lisa's ability fishing fire has the kanji for Isoribi, meaning uh, fire for luring fish at night. So she's got this whole, the whole like Ursula octopus thing going on. My flames are a magnetic substance. Even slightly, it should disturb the enemy's magnetic force. Uh, and Maki turns to her. Is it okay for you to fight? I was originally Feeler, the Knight to the Ashen Flame. I can't be hesitating at a time like this. Even though I was the enemy, Captain Obi welcomed me. My feelings might not be enough, but I still want to rescue Captain Obi. That was still one of the weirder things. Her her thoughts on all this, honestly, I kind of forgotten she was here for a good long while. Because um, <laughs> she's just kind of been silent for the past several arcs. Um, so yeah. Now, now Lisa's actually joining in the fight for once in her life. Which will be fun to see, I guess. Uh, and Vulcan smiles at her. I can only earn you time, Vol. Leave it to me. Licked. Given the way you spoke earlier, you've already thought of a plan, right? And Licked grins. Of course I did. I am Company 8's science investigator. 
The actors have assembled and the plan is flawless. Break through gold, the impregnable enemy. To be continued after 185 combat experiments. Okay, this chapter was a lot of fun. Uh, I will admit, when the belt started being magnetized, I was like, oh boy, Okobo, I thought we were better than this. But honestly, seeing the entire squad doing that, when they all take the pants off, that was, that was so funny. Let's be honest, that was, that was, that was comedy done right, Okobo, and we stand. And like, it makes sense, yeah, I get it. Um, <laughs> Hinoa, Hinoa gives no shits. <laughs> like, like, Maki's a little embarrassed. All right. He the one Vulcan is like, no pants, no problem. Um, but yeah, uh, beyond that, it really is just some more quality Okobo fight scenes. Uh, I will admit, um, there are some moments where I was a little bit more confused on than I typically am in a Fire Force fight. Um, but it's all made up for it by the plan coming together in the end and getting to see Lisa actually use her flames for the fire force like that's pretty new um actually yeah where has lisa been why has she done nothing for the past several arcs um i do not know anyway uh i also rem remember there's a lot of lisa that's kind of i feel like was just kind of vague uh like i don't understand like i thought she was i don't remember I don't quite, maybe, maybe this was Okobo's fault, maybe this is my fault for forgetting. I don't remember why she left the White Hoods in the first place. Like, did she get dragged back? I don't think, I don't think she had a full-on, like, redemption arc, right? You know, I think she got dragged back, and then suddenly just kind of went along with it from there. I don't know. But we, we got Lisa like this now, so that's, um, that's cool. Uh, and now Lift has his plan ready. Uh, which I guess we'll find out next week, or I know at some point there's supposed to be a two-week break. I thought that was this week, maybe it's next week. I don't know. We'll find out when we find out. So I'm going to leave this video off here. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video itself. If you did, feel free to me a like or subscribe or, you know, do whatever makes you happy, you know? And remember, your life is your own, okay? Bye!